Hey everyone, I hope you're doing super well. Just wanted to check in with you guys, like I said I would, during this stressful 150 plus plant move. This is not really the most successful check-in, but you know what, here we go. Okay, so here's the current situation that I'm in. Um, almost have everything packed up around uh, my place. You know, when I say like mostly everything, I mean absolutely nothing. I kid you not, like the only things that I have done are take down a lot of the uh, plant hangers that I had on the walls, as well as those crates that I had up there as well. And it's one of those situations where I still have a million more to do. But let me tell you, the thing that is stressing me out the most is trying to care for all of these beautiful plants while I'm in the midst of a move. That has become a challenge because while taking everything down that these plants are usually on, well, I don't really have any place to put them. So they're literally scattered about everywhere, like in my kitchen. That is not even a kitchen at this point. I mean, all those plants, they are just all over the place. And I keep on thinking to myself, well, Kevin, you know, this is only temporary. This won't last forever. Uh, but I also know that this next week is just going to be like the most stressful week. Well, actually, it already is because here we are part way into the week and I'm already stressed. <laughs> but I want to give you a look around at my plants to see exactly what I'm talking about when it's really hard to care for them right now while being in the process of moving. We'll kick things off with my anthurium crystalline that's just sitting there on the floor with another anthurium behind it, the heart's desire. Uh, they're actually doing okay, I think, because they have, you know, that big nice humidifier that's blasting humidity right next to them. But yeah, spread out here on the couch is a chameleon ZZ, which doesn't care about a move or anything like that. Uh, Philodendron plumanii seems to be holding up pretty well, surprisingly. Um, although I did have a, an accident earlier, my um, Philodendron Adama Abwens. It is one of my favorites, and it's really big now, but I was clumsy, and I tripped into it because there just wasn't enough space earlier, and it's new leaf that came out. It fell on it, and uh, it started to, like, snap a little part of it, so I've done this before with plants. I've just put tape on there, and it seems to still help them with the growth instead of the new leaf coming out, like, flimsy. So, anyways, there's a little hack for you, huh? Huh? Look at that! Yeah, so they're taking up uh, what's left of the couch over there. And uh, just beyond the Anthurium crystallinum and the Heart's Desire, Monstera is doing fine. And surprisingly, um, the Alocasia cupria is like loving it. It's just been sitting here in the middle of the living room instead of its normal, more sunny spot. But it's cool with it, um, and, I, and I believe that that's simply because of this humidifier that's blasting out so much uh, humidity into the air right now. This baby's like, yes, I never get this much humidity, but I am here for it. Uh, Philodendron Luxurians back there, um, doing well. I need to water it tomorrow, though I can't forget about that. There's just so many plants that I won't have time to water before the move, um, and hopefully a lot of them keep up. And I think, like, obviously the Monstera, the uh, Philodendron will do just fine. Although, uh, this poor Jose Bono, um, I need to water it tomorrow uh, for sure because it is soil is dry. And I also need to replace this broken moss pole before the move. Actually, I'll probably get to that after recording this. Uh, but yeah, it's just, you know, leaning over. So there we go. Oh, and I also need to water the Philodendron Gloriosum over there. Um, you can see it desperately needs a water. It also desperately needs a repot, but I, I won't have time until uh, until after the move. Uh, the Glorious, though, it's thriving. It's like doing its thing down there. Totally fine with it. Uh, and then King Anthurium, I need to water him in two days. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow just to get out of the way. This big new leaf already at like 26 inches. It's nuts. Oh, and the uh, big Monstera Thai Constellation. I do need to either water it tomorrow or put it into a larger pot. It's around a space again. 
um, and is pumping out those huge leaves back there. And then I definitely have to get to uh, the Monsera elbow over there in the corner. That baby needs a watering and a repotting. And I need to do that ASAP. Um, Syndapsis, Jade Satin down there. It's fine. I haven't watered in like three weeks and it's totally loving it. Um, Pothos looks like it's doing well. No problem there. Thanks, Pothos, for not being picky like the rest. <laughs> and then there's a bunch of beauties down here I need to uh, water. Um, oh, man. Yeah, I need to get to this Epipranum Snow Queen tomorrow. Um, and then I should water this uh, Monstera Celtipacana before the move, which is on a trellis. And I love it. Um, and then, oh, I also need to get this Clarinervium watered because it just pumped out um, one two, three new leaves, but it's uh, moss on the top that I put on there is, uh, it's dry. And that's a sure sign that it needs um, a watering. Uh, and I know that this crystalline of leaf uh, looks sickly, and that's because it is, but the other one is uh, doing really well. Uh, and the reason being is because I needed to upscale its pot size for a long time, and I finally did it this week. And so already starting to see new growth points come out, which is a really good sign uh, because that's what I did with um, this baby down here, that crystallinum. And the moment I upscaled its pot size, it started to balloon with new growth. By the way, if you haven't already had a chance yet, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button. So there you go. You know, it's... Uh... It's been fun, really. I mean, and the fact that it's not even over yet is just so tiring to think of. But yeah, trying to move around right now with like my beautiful Ethereum crystallinum that's finally starting to like thrive. And, you know, I don't know what to do with it. And I don't want it to wrinkle up or brown up because it's so beautiful. Look at that new leaf it just put on. The next one that's coming out after it. I'm in love. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll have to tell you the three things that I learned about this process. If you are finding yourself in this situation of trying to talk into a camera while putting a plant down, <laughs> is this. One is to plan in advance. Make sure you know the space that you're moving into so you can check out exactly where you're going to put your plants. That will save you a lot of effort and time. And it's something Alejandro and I started talking about weeks ago uh, when we started looking at the uh, new place and uh, where the plants would go and this and that. So very helpful there. Also, I strongly suggest if you, you know you don't want to throw your back out is to get yourself like a dolly or something with wheels because that will save you a lot of time and effort, especially when you have larger plants. That's the situation I'm in, and I have to tell you, uh, these dollies and carts have been such a big help, um, so I highly recommend them. Also, it's really a good idea if you're like moving and you want to make sure that your plant's foliage is going to remain safe, to wrap it up in like plastic or in just some sort of protective wrap that'll really help protect the foliage for when you're moving. That will save you a big headache. But yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions, please let me know because I can really, you know, use the help as I continue on uh, this week. So whew, I can't believe that this is happening and that very soon all of these plants in my beautiful urban jungle will be in a new urban jungle. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to building with Alejandro as we go on this adventure, this journey. Uh, so far, uh, he has been like a rock star in helping me get everything tidied up and the big move. And, uh, you know, when he sees all my plant stuff scattered everywhere, it's just an ideal, Kevin, ideal. He's from Colombia. <laughs> but yeah, please let me know in the comments if you guys have any suggestions. And as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my planty videos. And uh, please stay tuned for the next couple of videos because they're going to be, uh, you know, the next versions, episodes two through however long it takes of this plant move nightmare. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video.